Hi Jackie, my name is Caroline and I am the crisis counselor that's assigned your case. And I just wanted to come in and talk to you for a little bit and ask some questions and just talk about why you're here and what the plan is going to be going forward. Okay. So how are you doing today? I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing. I mean, I don't even understand why I'm here. They just, my boss just called the police and they just brought me here. I mean, I don't even get, get it. I don't even get it. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about the events that led up to you coming coming here to the hospital. So I was at work and I have been together with my boyfriend for five years. We broke up. He broke up with me three days ago. Okay. okay? So I was at work and I was on Facebook. I was on, on my break. And I was on Facebook and I saw he posted this status saying, single and ready to mingle. Can you believe that? Can you believe after five years of being together, he, he just broke up with me two days ago. And now he's just ready to date, apparently. So of course I got mad and I broke the computer because I, I just threw it to the floor and then I punched a wall and I made a hole. Well, I was angry. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you have done the same thing? I can't answer that, but it sounds like you're really, you're really having a hard time processing this, this loss. This I was mean, a loss yes, yeah. he left me out of nowhere. He gave me no reasons. Mm -hmm. We had a plan. We were going to get married. We were going to buy a house. We were going to have kids. Mm -hmm. And now he just left me. How am I supposed to feel? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you've been experiencing a lot of anger from that. Yes. And uh, what about just what about depression and sadness? I and am sadness. very sad because I get home and what do I have? Nothing. Nothing. The house is empty. He took half of his stuff and now the house is empty because he's not there and because it's empty. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I just can't handle it. I just can't. I just can't believe that he did this to me. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's been a really difficult time for you. Tell me a little bit more about, you would mentioned that you were really angry at, you know, about this situation and that you had um, thrown your computer into the wall. And um, so just let me understand, you know, have, have there been any instances of this happening in the past? No, I have never, never done anything like this. Never. Okay. I don't even understand what is going on with me. I am so upset. So upset that I just can't control myself, apparently. Okay. So tell me, how often have you had these thoughts of, of wanting to hurt your ex? Well, at that moment, I felt like going to his place and just, oh my gosh, I just wanted to hit him so bad. I don't know. Apparently, okay. I will feel some type of release if I hit him. That's that's why what I feel. So I wanted to just go to his place, and for a moment, I just wanted to kill him, kill him, because I just can't believe that he just forgot about everything from okay. one day to the other, and now he's ready to date again. Can you believe that? Okay, so. You did have thoughts of killing him during that time? Yes. Okay. Did you have any sort of a specific plan on how you would carry that out? I just wanted to go to his place and just punch him and just kill him. I don't know. I don't know how. I just wanted to end this because this is not fair. Okay. Um, I also would like to ask you as far as... Um, you know, so you, you have had thoughts of killing your ex. What about yourself? You also had thoughts of killing yourself as well. Well, I was thinking if I go and kill him, what am I going to do with me? Am I going to just stay here and go to jail? No, uh, so I will kill myself after killing him. Okay. And what sort of a plan did you, or did you come up with any sort of a plan to carry no. that out? Well, maybe I'm thinking that maybe the, the best and easiest way of doing it is with a gun. Okay. Do you own a gun? No, I don't. I don't even like guns. Okay. Have you thought about purchasing a gun to carry about the plan? I don't have the money to do that, so no. 
Have you considered firing one from someone else? I no one. I mean, uh, no one has guns. I mean, my friends don't have guns. Okay. Have you ever had thoughts of killing yourself in the past or someone no. else? No. Okay. Um, what, is there anything in your life that you can think of that would prevent you, any, anything or anyone that would, would prevent you from carrying out a plan to commit suicide or to kill your ex? I mean, the more I think about it, I, I just wouldn't do it. I was just so mad, you know, in the moment. It made me so upset. You know, it hurt me so much what he said that at that moment was when I wanted to do it. But I mean, looking back now, would I do it? No, I won't do it because that's just not me. That's not who I am. And that's not what I want to become, a killer. Okay. So, so it sounds like it goes against what your values and yes. beliefs are. Uh -huh. okay. What would my family say? What would my family say if my, if my face is on the news saying that I kill him and I commit a suicide. Mm -hmm. So there are concerns about how, you, how your family would process that? Yes. My mom will kill me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if I kill someone, you know, like. Okay. Are, is there any history of um, mental illness or, um, or alcohol or substance abuse in your family? No. No? No. Has anyone in your family ever thought about committing suicide or done it? No, no, no. Okay. And when something happens to you that was not planned, how do you tend to adapt and, and cope with that in general? I just, in general, I mean, just talk about it, just work through whatever I'm feeling or whatever I have to do, you know, just talk about it. But now I just can't talk about it with him because it will help me so much if I could just sit down with him and, you know, get some closure, understand why he's, you know, not wanting to be with me anymore, what's going on with me. But he's not willing to do that. That's why I just I don't know how to handle the situation. It sounds like you really like to be able to talk through your feelings and things like that. Yes, there's been what, what happened. Okay. Um, have you received counseling in the past prior to this incident? No. No. Well, do you feel that counseling in the future may be helpful for you? Yeah. Yeah, I think it will. I mean, it will help me to, you know, just understand a little bit and just control myself, control my anger, my sadness. I guess. So. I want to ask you, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not at all likely and 10 being very likely, um, how likely are you to plan, make a plan to commit suicide within the next three days? Uh, a 5, probably. I mean, I am angry, and I think that that will be the only, the only way right now of you know releasing my anger. Uh, but I don't, I don't have a gun, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to do it, so. Okay, and on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not likely, 10 being very likely, how likely would you be to hurt or kill your ex within the next 72 hours? Just let me tell you, if I see my ex within the next 72 hours, I will probably slap him on the face, in the face. Okay. I will probably yell at him and just try to get some answers because this is not fair. This is not fair. What he's doing to me is not fair. But I don't think you will go beyond that point, beyond that point of physically hurting him. Okay, so what would be the, the number in your opinion right now? A, a five, probably. A five as well. Okay. Okay. Well, I am going to um, thank you so much for answering my questions today. I I think that going going from here, I think that a good plan for you would be for you to just you know stay here for a couple of days. You know you're in a safe place, and you know it's going to help you to de-stress and to be able to you know get your feelings under control a little bit better. 
and um, might you know help you to relax a little bit more. And then I um, I would like to give you the crisis intervention hotline, um, crisis number hotline for you um, to call if um, you have any you know future thoughts of committing suicide or um, killing your ex as well, so that you can have that available for you. And um, and then I also would like to recommend, um, you know, that I will be recommending that you get counseling every week with a mental health therapist. So, so I mean, what is it gonna do? With, I mean, why would it just stay here? I just wanna go home. And you will be able to go home, but I think being here for a few days, um, this this will be my recommendation to my supervisor and to the hospital is for you to just be able to, you know, relax and get your feelings under control so that you're in a safe place and that you're also safe, you know, around others as well. So that um, is my recommendation for you. Okay. Just enjoy your time here and um and you're gonna be okay. There you go. Uh, Thank, Thank you. you. Jackie.